Hello, I am Miss Cindy. Hi, I'm Miss Rhonda. And welcome to Baby Lap Time. We're here at Leduc Public Library and we would like to do a little baby lap time with you and your little one. Yay! So we're going to start first of all with our welcome song mm -hmm. and we're going to pretend these are our little ones <laughs> to do mm -hmm. some fun actions with you as well. So our welcome song just goes like this. Hi, hello, and how are you? How are you? How are you? Hi, hello, and how are you? We're here at Baby Lap Time. Yay! Very nicely done. Welcome, welcome. Nice to see all of you. Hope they've had a wonderful summer. I hope Rhonda. so. I hope so, yes. I bet some of those babies have gotten bigger since we've last seen mm -hmm. them. Can't wait to see them again. Yes, that'll be lots of fun. So we're going to start with our Zoom 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 song, which a lot of you are familiar with because we do that one in toddler time as well. And you start by moving your palms together and it goes like this. Zoom Zoom Zoom, we're going to the moon. Zoom Zoom Zoom, we're going to the moon. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. In five, four, three, two, one, blast off! Yay! <laughs> Very good. That was fun. And if your baby isn't used to this song, when they get to the end and you lift them up and they blast yes. off, they're going to come to expect it when they get to that part exactly. of the song where you see the delight in their faces. So they will have lots of fun yes, with this song. It's a great one. So let's Should do, we that do one it again? again? Sure. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. In five, four, three, two, one, blast off! <laughs> Yay! Very good! Lots of fun with yes, that song. Yes. And you'll notice that when we do do our songs, we usually do them three times. Mm -hmm. It's great repetition, helps you remember the words, and before you know it, um, your child and, of course, your baby will very much look forward to them and like we said, it's a great way for you, the adults to learn the words That's to right. the songs. That's right, to sing them over and over. Mm -hmm. Little ones never get tired of songs exactly. if they love them. Mm -hmm. Adults may, but keep <laughs> going with the kids because repetition is key that at this is age. Correct. For learning. Definitely. At any age, really. Yes. I learn better with being told. Exactly. <laughs> the more you do it, and the more you are told. Exactly. Right. So we have another fun one we're going to do this time. We're going to use some wonderful homemade shakers that we have. And it's the Head and Shoulders, Knees and Toes song, which I'm sure all of you know. And Ms. Rhonda, do you want to explain a little bit about why I we use shakers? Use, so we use shakers because it's very good for shaking and learning the syllables of the words. You yes. shake on each syllable, which helps the children, when they're learning to talk, slow down and pronounce their syllables. Exactly. And use each syllable. So shakers are a great thing for that when you're singing or talking or, yeah. And you can use a rattle, which you might have at home, or you can make your own like we've done here, just using two cups and some tape. We have some dry rice in here. You could use dry beans, mm -hmm. anything that makes a neat sound Cereal, like that. Uncooked yes, noodles. exactly. Yeah. Lots yeah. of great ideas. So let's give it a try. And of course, this one helps them learn the names of their body parts. So here we go. Head and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Knees and toes, head and shoulders, knees and toes, eyes, ears, mouth and nose. I forgot to use I my shaker. I my nose backwards <laughs> and I forgot. <laughs> See, and this is what we mean when we do our programs. We exactly. say, go with the flow because even we make mistakes. <laughs> that's right. That's, that's, what, that's part of the fun, right? Exactly. And it when is. you're doing, doing it with the shakers or pointing to the body parts, you can point to your own as a parent yes, or a guardian or the child's. Exactly. So yeah, either one works. That's right. So shall we try it again? Yes. All right. Let's do that. Head and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, knees and toes, head and shoulders, knees and toes, 
eyes, ears, mouth, and nose. Very Yay! good. We did good it. job. <laughs> yeah. And Miss Cindy and I love to clap and sing for joy after every song. Exactly. And you'll see the delight in your baby's face because they'll know they did something great singing That's along right. with you or just paying attention, and it just encourages it all. Exactly. And this is a great song, by the way, to do in the bathtub. Oh, to yes. Teaching their body parts, point with the washcloth. Yes. Yeah. Perfect idea. One last time. Okay. All righty. Head and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head and shoulders, knees and toes, eyes, ears, mouth and nose. Yay! Yay! Very good. Excellent job. Oh, that's a classic. Can't, that can't, one is. Can't have enough of that song. That's, that's great. right. You can also mix it up and say head and shoulders, knees and toes, and then pick two other body parts. That's right. Head too. and shoulders, tummy and thighs, mm -hmm. you know, and go on teaching lots of the body parts. And that's a fun one with the toddlers, too. It is. Oh, yes. So, yes, if you have any older children, you can just adapt it a little bit and have lots more fun and many more verses. <laughs> right. Very, very good. Okay. We have one more song to do with our shaker, of course, called Shake Your Shaker. So this one's really fun to do. And this, again, is pointing out different body parts. So we're going to start with our knees, and then we'll see as we go what else we do. Okay, great. All right, so it goes like this. Shake your shaker, shake your shaker on your knee, on your knee. Can you shake your shaker? Can you shake your shaker? On your knee, on your knee. Good. Very good. Good Excellent. job. Let's do that again. What body right. part shall we do this time, Miss Cindy? Let's try our elbows, Miss Rhonda. Elbows, okay. Ready? Shake your shaker, shake your shaker. On your elbow, on your elbow. Can you shake your shaker? Can you shake your shaker? On your elbow, on your elbow. Yay! Very good, very good. Nicely done. Yes. Um, one more. Let's try our backs, actually. Okay, that would be a little tricky. That Switch would around. be. Okay. Ready? <laughs> yep. <laughs> shake your shaker, shake your shaker. On your back, on your back. Can you shake your shaker? Can you shake your shaker? On your back. On your back. Very Yay! good. That was a good one. That was a lot of fun to do. So yes, you can go on and on with different body parts and mm -hmm. keep singing that song for a while if you like that one. And you can also um, switch that one up a little bit and use like a face cloth. Right? Oh, yes, yes. And you can do right. that one in the tub as well. Yes, yeah. And you can just your toes, exactly. your shoulders. Exactly. Yep. All Everywhere. over the place. Yeah. So now we're going to talk about um, using sign language with your baby. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people are opting to do this now. It's not meant to be a supplement to learning words. It's meant to complement. Right. So say you were doing mom, which is this is mom. Then you would say the word mom and they're seeing your mouth, your hands are drawing it to their mouth, so they can't help but visualize and see your mouth right. moving. Whereas if you just say mom, it comes and it goes. Exactly. Whereas if it's mom, they're just paying more attention to your, right. mouth, your mouth movement to learn to say it on their own. Plus, uh, sign language is very good in that it doesn't, um, it gives them a form of communication when they are upset. Mm -hmm. So, you know, sometimes babies will get upset and they're crying and they're, <gasps> they can't catch their breath. Right. But if they knew that they could say, say they really, really want more applesauce and you've put it away and they, they could go more. This right. is the sign for more. Exactly. So, and then they would do that and you go, oh, my baby wants more. And That's then right. the frustration isn't there. Whereas otherwise they just cry and they can't communicate with you and they get worse. And, Mm -hmm. So it's it's a good practice to start. It is. So and we get a lot of ours from signingtime.com. Yes. yes, exactly. So you can go onto their website as mm -hmm. well, www.signingtime.com. And we have a couple we want to teach you today. Mm -hmm. So yes is like this. Yes. Kind of like you're nodding your head. Mm -hmm. Yes. No is more like you're saying no, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. Well no, 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 no. <laughs> um, potty is when you put your thumb between your first two fingers and you can kind of wiggle around like mm -hmm. when they have to go and they kind of start wiggling right yep. around it. <laughs> and sleep, which everyone needs much more of, especially new parents. <laughs> yes, yes. And lots of babies. That's like true, too. Sleep. And that's when they grow. Mm -hmm. 
Um, you just put it over and close your eyes as you're doing that and then put your fingers together. So sleep. sleep. So all the signs are very simple. You're not learning every word of the English language. Correct. You're picking words that pertain to you and your baby and exactly. their daily lifestyle, which on this double uh, signingtime.ca.com, sorry, is all about that so you just pick words that pertain to your day right. it's all there in alphabetical order and then there's a wonderful lady that does the sign and mm -hmm. they're usually very simple easy to remember mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and so hopefully that will help with a couple yeah, of our you choose. needs words that we have just shown you today and the couple Miss Rhonda showed oh you. the next one Miss Cindy is one that's really fun I love I this like one. this one yes I always mess up the words as I do it but that's okay <laughs> I'm just gonna push through because that's the fun kids don't mind that's right and it has some numbers in it it has some lifting so you can work those biceps and triceps and everything there and it's called the cuckoo clock song <laughs> so those of you who've come before know this song and yes we do love it very much it goes like this tick tock tick tock I'm a little cuckoo clock tick tock tick tock now the time is one o'clock. Cuckoo! Good! Very good. Now we're going to do two o'clock, so same thing. Tick tock, tick tock, I'm a little cuckoo clock. Tick tock, tick tock, now the time is two o'clock. Cuckoo! Cuckoo! Good! good. And now we're going to do three. Whoops, his poor little head is going. Yes, yes. He's built some muscle. In. Exactly. Here we go. Tick tock, tick tock. I'm a little cuckoo clock. Tick tock, tick tock. Now the time is three o'clock. Cuckoo, cuckoo, cuckoo. Yay! You can almost see all the little babies smiling out there. Enjoying. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. And now you also know why we said your arms will get a good workout, mm -hmm. <laughs> depending yes. how heavy your baby is. Right? <laughs> Shall we try it once more? Yes. All right, here we go. Tick tock, tick tock, I'm a little cuckoo clock. Tick tock, tick tock, now the time is one o'clock. Cuckoo, good. Tick tock, tick tock, I'm a little cuckoo clock. Tick tock, tick tock, now the time is two o'clock. Cuckoo, cuckoo, good. good. And we'll do three. Mm -hmm. Tick tock, tick tock, I'm a little cuckoo clock. Tick tock, tick tock, now the time is three o'clock. Cuckoo, 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 yay. <laughs> That's always a really fun it one. It is, it is. It's just some good exercise. It is. So should we do that one three times let's, or just two? Let's do it another one. Okay, let's do one, more, one more. Here we go. Tick tock, tick tock, I'm a little cuckoo clock. Tick tock, tick tock, now the time is one o'clock. Cuckoo! Good. Tick tock, tick tock, I'm a little cuckoo clock. Tick tock, tick tock, now the time is two o'clock. Cuckoo! Cuckoo! Good! And last one. Yes. Tick tock, tick tock, I'm a little cuckoo clock. Tick tock, tick tock, now the time is three o'clock. Cuckoo! 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 Yay! <laughs> oh, that was good. That so was lots fun. of fun. Woo! Now it's scarf. Yes. Ooh. Ooh, we've got a nice matching blue on blue here. Yeah. Oh yeah, look at that. Pretty fancy. <laughs> <laughs> now, Miss Rhonda, what's the fun thing about scarves when we use them with babies? Well, they're very good for, uh, again, they're a visual. Yes. Um, a lot of people learn better when they see the visual. Mm -hmm. So, like for instance, head and shoulders, when I'm doing that, head and shoulders, knees and toes. But if I go head right. and shoulders, knees and toes, it works a lot exactly. better. Exactly. So it's always good when you're singing songs. Well, not always, but most times, have something visual that you can point mm -hmm. to things. Yeah. And you don't have to have a fancy scarf like this. Mm -mm. You can use a little receiving blanket. You can use a face cloth, mm -hmm. a tea towel. You Blanky, yeah. Exactly, yeah. anything a you shirt, have. A shirt, a t-shirt. Anything, yeah, that's anything. right. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Alrighty, so in this song, we're gonna play some peekaboo. And there's a couple signs also. I is when you point to yourself. C is when you point to your eyes and you is like this. So we're gonna use that as we do this song as well. So here we go, it goes like this. 
peek-a-boo hoo, peek-a-boo hoo. I see you, I see you. I see your little nose, I see your little toes. Peek-a-boo, I see you. Very good, very good. Excellent, let's try it again, ready? Here we go. Peek-a-boo hoo, peek-a-boo hoo. I see you, I see you. I see your little nose, I see your little toes. Peek-a-boo. I see you. Good. Very good. That's Very such good. a fun one, isn't it? It is. It is. And the, all the babies love it. They do. They love playing peek a -boo. They do. Mm -hmm. Let's try one last time. peek a boo hoo peek a boo hoo I see you. I see you. I see your little nose. I see your little toes. peek a boo I see you. Very Yay. good. Good. And of course, like I'm holding my pretend baby this way, just so you can see what I'm doing. Miss mm -hmm. Rhonda had hers on her lap, mm -hmm. which is another awesome way to do it. And if your baby will lay on their back in front of you on the floor, mm -hmm. if you're doing it on the floor, that's really great too. Sometimes just right on your lap, on whichever the way they, you or, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And whichever way they are comfortable and is working for their age and their size and mm -hmm. everything. So these are just, again, like ideas, but do what works for you guys. And these are really good songs, too, for interaction with an older sibling. So yes, if you want to have true an older too. sibling watch this video, learn some of the songs, and if the baby's upset with them or they just want to have something to do with them, right? very good way to calm the baby down and sing right. any song they're familiar with. Songs, exactly. songs are amazing for that. Yes, <laughs> and sometimes an older sibling really can be a lot of help mm -hmm. to you and your little one. Alrighty, we're gonna do one called, these are baby's fingers. So this one, we won't use the scarves for it, but you can if you'd like. And we're just going to have you, again with your little one, point out their fingers for this one, their toes, um, their belly button, and then we go round and round it goes. So it's kind of a nice little calming and tickling song. You can do it on their back, so you can actually touch their belly button, or you can turn them over and rub their back in the circular as well whatever works for you guys and it goes like this these are baby's fingers these are baby's toes this is baby's belly button round and round it goes good yes let's try it the other way here we're gonna flip him over and do it on his back now these are baby's fingers these are baby's toes this is baby's belly button, round and round it goes. Kind of gives them a little tickle. Exactly. <laughs> so that would be kind of cute. Yeah. And one last time. These are baby's fingers. These are baby's toes. This is baby's belly button, round and round it goes. Yay. Very good. Very Nicely good. done. Very good. Excellent job. Hmm. Alrighty, let's see if we can do a couple more songs. We've got one that's kind of cute called Changing Diapers. Mm -hmm. And this one's to the tune of Frere Jaca and it goes, Changing diapers, changing diapers, lots of fun, lots of fun. Now you're not so stinky, now you're not so stinky, now we're done. Nice clean bum. <laughs> Just a cute one to Older do. siblings would love that of one. Of course. They find that awful funny. They do. So the sign for diapers is just like this. You're supposed to do it down here. Oh, okay. But I like to do them near the face so they see them. I, most of them are near the face. Right. Mm. That's a good one to know for this song, isn't it? And all it? done is this song. Like You're brushing away crumbs. All, all done. done. All done. So let's try this one again. Ready? Yeah. Changing diapers, changing diapers, lots of fun, lots of fun. Now you're not so stinky, now you're not so stinky, now we're done. Nice clean bum. Yay! <laughs> and depending on your baby's age, it might be a really fun struggle changing a diaper, but yes. maybe this song will help calm things down. <laughs> that's true, that's true. Get some giggles while, exactly. you're, while you're changing them. Yes. That's right. <laughs> so we'll do it one last time. Here we go. 
Changing diapers, changing diapers, lots of fun, lots of fun. Now you're not so stinky, now you're not so stinky, now we're done. Nice clean bum. Yay! Very good. Excellent. And the last song we'll do for this little um, session is I'm Toasting the Toaster, oh. which I know a lot of you love this song as well. Toddlers love this song. They do they? too. They do. They love jumping up and down. Yes. It's really fun and it goes like this. I'm toasting the toaster. I'm getting very hot. Tick tock, tick tock, up I pop. Yay! Yes. Let's try it again. Okay. I'm toasting the toaster. I'm getting very hot. Tick tock, tick tock, up I pop. Yay! Yay. Awesome. Very good. And one last okay. time. I'm toasting the toaster. I'm getting very hot. Tick tock, tick tock, up I pop. Yay. Yay. So much fun. So much fun. It's been a lot it of fun, has. hasn't it, Miss Rhonda? It has been a lot of fun. But we're coming to the end of our baby lap time, so we're going to do our goodbye rhyme with you. Yes, and join us next week at this exactly. time. We're going to release a video every week for September and October. Yes. With different songs that you can enjoy and learn to sing and have fun with your little one. Some we will do the same because we know it is nice to repeat them, mm -hmm. and it's nice once you know the songs and you're very comfortable with them. And sometimes we'll just throw in a couple new ones to switch it up a little bit mm -hmm. so you don't get, the grown-ups don't get too yeah. bored. <laughs> Kids never get bored of the same. It's like, it's like with books, read them over exactly. and over and over. Yes. Good way to get vocabulary. Exactly. And by the way, when we do do our actual baby lap time, we do read a story as well. So please feel free to do that while you're doing your little baby lap time mm -hmm. or just afterwards. Board books are excellent for babies and young children. They're pretty indestructible. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. <laughs> and babies are never too young to be read to. Mm -hmm. So, um, alrighty, on that happy note, we'll say our hands say thank you with a clap, clap, clap. Our feet say thank you with a tap, tap, tap. Clap, clap, clap. Tap, tap, tap. We wave our hands and say goodbye.